Hello everyone, um, I'm going to show you something I've written for eShale, uh, some extra functionality. So here on the right hand side you can see an eShale buffer where I can execute commands normally like ls slash. Um, every time I, I execute a command, uh, it's an interactive command which means that the prompt won't be returned to me until the command is finished and the input and output will be um, managed by the process. So if I do sleep four during these four seconds, I cannot do anything. So I've written something that sends commands to the background using the very well-known compile command of Emacs. So if I do instead of, if I, instead of pressing return, I press control return, the process will be sent uh, to the background and a compilation buffer will take care of it. By default the compilation buffer is shown under the window as any other compilation buffer. So if I switch to it you'll see the process is finished and it reports when it finished and if it has finished successfully. Um, so if I do false when I press control enter um, it sees that the process has finished normally, what's the exit code etc. I'm going to close this uh, two buffers okay, to go back to the start point. Mm, there's something else. If I execute the same command, but instead of pressing just control enter, I pass the universal argument. So I do control u, control enter. The command will still be executed in the background, but the completion buffer won't be displayed. And Emacs will send me a notification via libnotify when the process has exited. Um, it appeared there on the right hand side. I'm going to do it again so uh, I can show you what happens when I actually press on the notification. So I'm going to just do sleep for again, control U, control enter, and I'll just wait for the notification to pop up. I click on it and what happens is that it will show me the completion buffer that is attached to that background process uh, under the window so I can explore the outputs. Um, also something I do quite often is to list all the buffers that are linked to the background process, processes that I launched using this mechanism. For that um, I have a, a key binding um, that invokes either switch buffer showing only these buffers. In this case there is only one. Um, but if I do like, um, I don't know, sleep three and uh, I send it to the background and I list them all, the new one will appear here. In this case, as it was still being executed when the when I listed the buffers, the ampersand flag is on, which means that there is a process in the background running. So once I select it, now it has already finished, obviously. One interesting thing is that it also works with Trump, so you can execute background commands on remote hosts. I'm going to move to a host now using a bookmark, like this one here, and I'll repeat the same thing, sleep free there, control U, control N there, and I'll just wait for notification. Notification says processing NDEF AS finished, I click on it, it will take me to the buffer where the apple is and it also appears in the list as it should. Uh, and I think that's all. If you're interested um, about how this works or the code that makes this possible, everything's available in my dot files. Uh, so just uh, let's take a look on GitHub, my dot files, everything is available here. Just take a look and uh, that's it. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next one.